Hi everyone. So today's pick a card is the Two of Swords. And I'd like to thank everyone for your donations. They've been great. And I've started sending private readings to the highest tipper of each day. So if you tip, make sure to add your email address so that way I know where to send the recording. And if you have a question, you can add that in there too. So I will see you at your card. Hi, number one. So let's see what the first two of swords wants to say. If you are pining after some after some person because they're attractive and they're charming and whatever, the universe is saying you need to let go of that fantasy because it's not for you. And you actually have three other people who have interest in you who are way better for you. The best way to try to take your focus off of this fantasy is to refocus onto the things you enjoy doing. And drinking isn't one. That's not going to help you refocus off of that fantasy. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, 
I guess you could focus, refocus on the stuff you already have going on right now that needs sorted out, which is probably why you've been on this fantasy is to avoid those things that need sorted out. So focus on the things that need sorted out and then you can figure out, or while you're doing that, you can keep kind of an open ear and eye to see who these other three people are. <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you. That's motivation for you to figure it out. Yep, it's time to focus on other options. So let's see what the second two of swords would like to say. someone left to go do their own thing <clears throat> and now they're coming back because they need resources not looks like that's kind of their game. They, they get you all tied up in whatever kind of BS and then they kind of just up and leave for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. And then <clears throat> when they need untangling from something else then they try to kind of come back and get you all tangled up into that thing too. never any untangling it's just more and more tangling so unless you want to get involved in whatever other kind of stuff that was going on when they left stay out of it they did you a favor by leaving don't mess up your own situation and recovery and healing by letting them make that wound even deeper 
Good luck. Hi, number three. So let's see. All right. Okay, if you're kind of in a newish relationship and they seem amazing, they're love bombing you and you're not the only one. Sorry. Yeah, if you stay with them, <clears throat> it's going to end up being fighting, conflict, manipulation, the whole nines. Emotional, mental, spiritual. It's going to suck your energy, suck your life force. So... Good luck. Hi, number four. <clears throat> so let's see. Got the fourth two of swords. What does this say? If you're meeting a lot of resistance from other people while you are on your path, that resistance is, one, the fact that 
you're onto something and people don't, I guess, let, like getting left behind. And if you're going your own way, people are going to try to latch on to you. And that resistance is also, there are also lessons for you to realize who's actually really helping and who's actually really hindering. sees that what you're doing is keeping you happy and um, secure <clears throat> and they can see that you really you handle everything and you got it going on <laughs> And that you're kind of a loner and so people I guess you know I, I, I run into this all the time too people they try to buddy up to you because they want a piece of you but then they keep you down because they don't they want to keep you in their life and they want what you have So don't let what people are telling you hinder what you're doing because you're, you are doing it right. You're doing it your way. You're doing what you want to do. They're not doing the work. They just want a piece of easy pie, but they don't want to actually make the pie. Yeah. They want to sit fat and happy and just have you take care of everything for them. So, good luck. My number five. So let's see, we the fifth, two of swords. What's the same? Part of the reason that you're having a hard time really enjoying what you're doing is because there's still some childhood trauma that hasn't been dealt with. <clears throat> and if you can kind of explore that area of your life and heal from it, then it, it's going to change how, how you work. You're going to be able to get a lot more fulfillment out of your work. 
because it looks like that you <clears throat> you like what you do it's just not as fulfilling as you would like it to be and that's because that part is still taken up by trauma so just accepting the fact that it happened is a good start in trying to address the problem. confirmation for what we just said. Yeah, you um, you can really come into if you keep if you just keep working that that thing that you're doing will help you become satisfied but it's going to take a lot longer than if you look into your trauma and try to work through it. That's, that's a quick way for it to happen. But it looks like that regardless, just keep working and you're going to get there eventually anyway. So that's good news. Good luck. <laughs>